Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. Also ETCG1, hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. I just got me a new sign from these guys. I'll put a link in the description to their YouTube channel. They did all this freehand. Hangs proudly above my toolbox now, which is what we're gonna talk about. I've been playing with this differential for the Fairmont for way too long. <laughs> But I thought I'd take a little break and shoot an ETCG1 video about what tools I get at Harbor Freight. And this all comes up because I actually just got some tools specifically, these files, uh, from Harbor Freight. Now, I did a video about tools not too long ago and as far as a comparison between Harbor Freight and Craftsman and Snap-on and all that stuff, yes, there's professional tools that are out there and there is no substitute for good professional tools. In fact, I advocate, you know, good professional wrenches, you know, your basics, your wrenches, your wrenches, your sockets, have those things be things that, you know, are, are of good quality. However, if you're not looking for Mrs. Wright and you're looking for Mrs. Wright now, Harbor Freight is your best friend. Let's talk about some of the tools I've gotten from Harbor Freight. I shot a video about checking uh, the heat on brakes to look for bad calipers. This worked awesome. Now that Fleur tool that's in there behind it works even better, but this at $20 is really hard to beat. Same drawer, couple of other occasions. Quick disconnect tools, pick these up at Harbor Freight. I mean, Harbor Freight is really close by and I'm there probably every other week. So I'm not like a complete tool snob. I also needed like a giant Allen socket at one point. I picked that whole setup for maybe 30 bucks. Once again, this is right now. My grease gun, also Harbor Freight, although it is showing signs of age and wear, still functions. My old battery tester, I mean, come on, 20 bucks? For like $2, I got all these brushes so I could set up my gear tooth pattern for this and whatever else I can use these. Jeez, they're practically disposable. Not long ago, I needed a drill with a half inch chuck. Picked this up for, I think it was a little over 40 bucks. And it's also a hammer drill, so when I wanna nail things to the floor, I can. Same with this drill, this angle drill. Picked that up relatively inexpensively. You might remember this from the uh, video I did drilling out the exhaust studs on that Pontiac Montana. Oil pressure gauge, super flippin' affordable. I needed a level for the shop. This was cheap, however, it was a complete and total mistake. This is a flare kit. I keep this around to remind me that sometimes you can get burned by Harbor Freight. I have two sets of AC gauges. Why? Because the first set went bad, but it's kind of inexpensive enough to where you're like, yeah. The only reason I ever got this leak down tester was to do that video on leak down testing. Normally, I'd never use it, but once again, Harbor Freight to the rescue. I needed one of these teeny tiny Torx bits Here's some tools that people sent me from Harbor Freight. Ooh, drill bits. I get lots of drill bits from Harbor Freight because I go through drill bits a lot. Like I said stuff people sent me from Harbor Freight. This thing is kind of cool. I don't think it's available to market yet. Uh, the guy that sent it to me was uh, trying to get funding for it. If I can, I'll dig up a link and put it in the description for you. That would be the spinny thing. I got this electrical connector kit from Harbor Freight. It's okay. I got these hose clamps from Harbor Freight. They're no bueno. These guys are way better. I get these from my local tool supplier or shop supplier. I got this buns on fire stool from Harbor Freight. I got this oil drain and this silver engine support from Harbor Freight. I got this engine support from Harbor Freight. And my old engine hoist and engine stand were from Harbor Freight. These are from SunX. My parts watcher came from Harbor Freight. My shop lights used to be from Harbor Freight. I absolutely flippin' hated them. These Astro pneumatics are way better. I'll post a link in the description of those. So I'm not a complete and total tool snob. Like I said, there's a Harbor Freight that's not far away from the shop, and if I get stuck on something, it's really great to be able to drive there and pick it up. And I know it's gonna be affordable. However, reliability, yeah, that may, uh, that may be a little hit and miss, but most times they're good enough. Good enough for what I need and away we go. And if I need better quality stuff, well, I save up, get better quality stuff. If you have automotive questions, airatthecarguy.com. Link in the description to make it easy. Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you want to connect socially, be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thanks for watching.